gonna make that big of a difference for you if you're not currently doing this especially if you're working on a bar where the knurling isn't very aggressive okay very easy to, to have some slippage there Hey guys, Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com. Now I'm gonna show you how to set a tight hand position in the bench press. Uh, the key here to setting a tight hand position is you can't just go and grab the bar. If you just go and grab the bar, there's still a lot of excess movement in your hand. Think of your hand as there's a lot of, um, you know, you got your muscle, your tendons, you got um, the skin too. Everything's moving around, everything can shift. So if you look at my forearm here, you know, just me circulating around, I'm moving a lot of tissue. You know, see my skin moving around, the muscles underneath, not as much, but I'm definitely pulling slack out of them. And what I'm looking to do when I'm setting my hand position to the bar, that's my connecting piece. Okay, everything that I'm doing is in an effort to transfer force through my hands into this barbell. So, when we're grabbing the bar, we need a really tight hand position. We need to make sure that nothing's going to slip. All right, there's no excess movement in the tissue. Everything needs to be nice and tight. Okay, so what I just showed you here, we need to make sure that we take the slack out. Right, you can see if I just pull straight down, this tissue is now tight as I'm cranking down on it. Okay, and the same kind of thing applies to our hand. That's why I like to get a good hand position over the top, and then I like to crank down on the bar. I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like. All right, so you can see that I chalked up my hands. I wanna make sure that I have zero slipping. A lot of lifters won't chalk up their hands, but I always encourage chalking your hands because you want that grip to the bar. If you've been working on a commercial gym bench, you understand this fully, that those bars without good aggressive knurling, they're very, there's a lot of slippage in there. Especially when you start sweating, very easy for your hands to start gliding. We want to make sure that there's zero gliding. We have that friction to the bar. Therefore, we're going to want chalk deep in our hands. Take a look at my hands here. When I place them to the bar, I'm not just grabbing the bar. All right, I'm not just grabbing on and then I'm set. You know, it's not that quick of a process. When I get my hands set to the bar, I really want to quote unquote wedge them into the bar. Okay, I wanna take that slack out that I was just showing you guys. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, I'm gonna be kinda internally rotated a little bit with my hand. So you can see, you know, when we're bending the bar, right, we're creating this type of a motion here. I'm gonna purposely aim to get that wedge or that, um, that webbing of my thumb and my index on the bar first. So that's what I'm looking to do. I'm trying to dig that part in, okay? Once that's set, you can see I come over to the top with this hand and I'm pulling that slack out. So I'm actually tacking down tissue, right? And I'm cranking my hand into position. Now I have a good tight position. If I just grab, there's a lot of excess meat. You see how much I can still slide my hand around here? Right, I wanna make sure I take that sliding ability out. So I crank in here, set that tight. I crank down on that tissue. I grab the bar and I spread. I'm trying to pull my hand out, okay? And that's gonna set a nice tight hand position, right? My hand's not gonna go anywhere. So there's no excess movement now. I'm very tight to the bar. You see the chalk helps with that grip. It's already gone, all right? So that's how you're gonna set a tight hand position to the barbell. It's gonna make that big of a difference for you if you're not currently doing this. Especially if you're working on a bar where the knurling isn't very aggressive, okay? Very easy to, to have some slippage there. So we wanna make sure we chalk up, we take the slack out of our hands, we dig into position. It's not as simple as just grabbing the bar. All right guys, Coach Ben here. You know where to find me. You can meet me on a bench. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel over here. Check out the links in the description box below. You can see a video related on this topic right here. And then our latest video right there. Thanks for watching.